Have you ever heard of a Chihuahua? Of course you have. They're the smallest ones in the community. But did you know that these dogs are born with an incomplete skull? And did you know that these small dogs once took over and terrorized a small town? Interested in learning why Chihuahuas were sacrificed by the Aztecs? If questions like these intrigue your curious mind, then stick around. In today's video, we're going to count down 10 little-known facts about Chihuahuas. And that all starts right now on The Smart Canine, the only show that explores the most interesting facts and stories behind dogs. But before we dive in, hit that subscribe and notification bell. Don't forget to smash that like button if you want more videos about the Chihuahua. Number 10. Chihuahuas once terrorized a small town. They may be small and cute, but did you know a pack of wild Chihuahuas once took over a small town in Arizona? Not just that. Packs of these stray dogs terrorized the streets and citizens of Maryville, Arizona, a small suburb close to Phoenix, Arizona. They would chase down school kids and swarm over bystanders while aggressively barking and nipping at residents. According to local residents, the feral chihuahuas were terrorizing from yard to yard in groups of anywhere from 8 to 12 dogs. Funny enough, other larger stray dogs joined forces with the chihuahua, creating packs as large as 15 dogs. So many of them flooded the city that even animal administration officials couldn't get the situation under full control. They would get a call from a resident, though when they arrived on the scene, the dogs would be long gone, creating havoc in another area. All in all, over 600 complaints were made about these little canine thugs, and the town experienced three times more calls to animal custody officers than normal. Number 9. Chihuahuas have the largest brains of all. Well, relatively at least. That's to say, these small dogs don't actually have the biggest brains of all. With their six-pound frame, how could they? However, chihuahuas have the biggest brain of any dog in comparison to the size of the body. No surprise here. It's no wonder why they're so quick-witted and smart. But a huge brain isn't necessarily a good thing. Due to the size of their large head and thus brain, these dogs are prone to developing disorders that affect their brain and corresponding nerves, including epilepsy. Puppies can potentially develop hydrocephalus, which is essentially spinal fluid filling up around the brain. Number 8. Chihuahuas are born with an incomplete skull. Don't worry, it's not as scary as it sounds. Chihuahuas are actually born with a soft spot on the dog's head called molars. It's an opening at the top center of the Chihuahua's skull, where the periental and frontal bones have not properly closed yet. It's not a super rare thing to see in dogs, as most dogs are born with this. In fact, even human babies are born with a similar soft spot. But while most dogs eventually grow out of their malaria, the cranial gap in the Chihuahua's skull may never close, leaving them with a malaria for their entire lives. The malaria in the Chihuahua is so common that it's even mentioned in the breed standard by the American Kennel Club. Although this may seem like a scary thing for some people, it's definitely not something owners should lose sleep over. Number 7. The World's Biggest Stars Own Chihuahuas Chihuahuas are one of the most celebrated breeds of all time. It's no wonder some of the world's most famous stars have decided to bring home a Chihuahua. In fact, there have been many instances where these little toy companions have been featured in major celebrations. For instance, renowned actress Marilyn Monroe once adopted a Chihuahua after she was offered her six-movie contract by Columbia Pictures in 1948. It was Monroe's big break that really became the turning point for her legendary career in Hollywood. Some actors buy fancy cars. Others buy a new house or throw a massive party. Monroe, on the other hand, celebrated by bringing home a Chihuahua, who she named Josepha. We can't think of a better way to celebrate than to adopt a Chihuahua too. Number 6. The Chihuahua has had multiple different names. Believe it or not, the Chihuahua was actually named after a Mexican state, also called the Chihuahua State. This was because the breed's ancestors were believed to have originated from this region of Mexico around the 9th century. However, these dogs were not always called the Chihuahua. By the end of the 1800s, Mexican merchants had migrated to the adjacent American states to sell to border tourists. Unsurprisingly, the Americans loved the Chihuahua, 
and the breed became an instant hit around border states before spreading to the rest of the country. But because the popularity stemmed from just a few American states, they were originally known as the Arizona dog or the Texas dog. Others referred to them as just the Mexican dog. However, with some time, these little dogs would become universally known as the Chihuahua, which eventually stuck with the international crowd. And if you're curious, the name is believed to originate from a Nahuatl word meaning dry, sandy place. Number 5. Some Chihuahuas were heroes. When you think about hero dogs, a few breeds come to mind. There's the brave German Shepherd that'll leap into a burning home without hesitation. Or the loyal Doberman that'll fiercely protect their loved ones from strange intruders. However, sometimes the smallest things can make the biggest impact. And Mackenzie, the four-pound chihuahua, is proof of this. After beating out over 400 dogs to claim the title of country's most heroic dog. So, how did the smallest dog become the biggest hero? Well, Mackenzie was born with a cleft palate, and spent the first year of her life being fed through a tube while battling a constant recurring case of pneumonia. After making a full recovery, Mackenzie was enlisted to work at the Mia Foundation where she nurtures other animals with similar birth defects and mutations. Since then, she's provided motherly love and care for countless animals and has become one of the best at the job. Not only does she nurse, clean, comfort, and cuddle with the baby rescue animals, but she also teaches them how to socialize and play. It's no wonder she received the Humane Hero Dog Award. What an extraordinary award for an extraordinary dog. Number 4. There are several theories on where Chihuahuas actually originated from. Like many other dog breeds, the true origins of the Chihuahua is a murky one. So far, we know that the modern Chihuahua came from its namesake state in Mexico, around the mid to late 19th century. But what about the breed's ancestors? Well, there are a few theories that are wildly different. The most common belief is that the Chihuahuas were descendants of a small dog from ancient Mexico called the Techichi. Another popular theory is that the ancestors of the Chihuahuas were actually toy companions from China. And not just any toy companion, but the hairless Chinese crested. Some historians seem to think that Spanish invaders who had taken regions in ancient China actually brought the Chinese crested back to Mexico, where they were then mixed with the local dogs. Others believe that these dogs originated from Malta because the island was known for being inhibited by small dogs that looked eerily similar to the Chihuahua. However, my personal favorite theory is that the Chihuahua's ancestors came from outer space, at least according to the native and South Americans. But no matter where the Chihuahua came from, I think we can all agree that they're out of this world. Number 3. A Chihuahua was America's most famous dog in the late 1990s. From 1997 to the year 2000, a Chihuahua was the mascot for the fast food chain Taco Bell. However, the Taco Bell dog had a name, Gidget. The campaign was a wild success, and Gidget soon appeared on primetime television, billboards, magazines, and more. Gidget soon became a prominent canine celebrity and carved herself a permanent place in American pop culture. And rightfully so. Fun fact. Gidget was so successful that she appeared in an advertising campaign for Geico Insurance in 2002. And although Gidget's career was a relatively short one, she lived a long life, passing away at the age of 15 in July of 2009. Number 2. Chihuahuas were used as sacrificial dogs by the Aztecs. Early versions of the Chihuahua, known as the Tachichi dog, were popular among religious ceremonies during the times of ancient Mexico. Unfortunately, this meant that the Chihuahuas were sacrificed during sacred Toltec practices. But why on earth would they sacrifice these canine companions? Well, evidence suggests that the ancient Aztecs and Toltecs believed that these dogs guided the human soul to the underworld after death. For this reason, these dogs were often buried with their deceased family. But it's not all bad. Aside from the sacrificing part, these dogs were taken care of very well and almost treated like royalty. Thanks to their connections to religious ceremonies, Tachichi dogs were regarded as sacred animals that needed to be pampered and spoiled during their lifetime. And as you may have guessed, they were the top choice for companions back then too. Number 1. Chihuahuas have actually shrunk over time. 
Today, the Chihuahua is known as the smallest purebred dog. However, this wasn't always the case. It's believed that the early versions of the Chihuahua were much larger than they are now. Not only were they much heavier, but also taller dogs. It's why some historians believe these dogs did light work around the Toltec villages as well. However, when the Aztecs conquered the Toltecs in the 12th century, they took the Tachichi dog and refined them into a smaller and lighter dog, much more like the modern Chihuahua we see today. And as modern society began to label Chihuahuas as true toy companions, they were bred to become even smaller. So, what was your favorite Chihuahua fact? Were there any interesting facts that we missed? Let us know in the comments section below. And if you enjoyed this video, consider giving us a thumbs up and subscribing to The Smart Canine for the most interesting stories and facts behind dogs.